On Tuesday the 4th of June, the Pelican Beach Resort was witness to a very engaged workshop. Its focus was on structuring a campaign to combat the Huang Long Bing or HLB, also known as Citrus Greening Disease. In addressing HLB at the workshop, Managing Director of Baha, Mr. Emer Cruz, had this to say. Citrus greening or HLB, as is now more commonly referred to, is undoubtedly the most devastating of all citrus diseases the world over. Since the discovery of this destructive disease in the American continent and subsequent detection in Belize, industry, partners' development, regulatory agency, and government of Belize have been engaged in an all-out war to try to curb the spread and negative effect of this pathogen. This problem has tested our metal question our allegiances, strain our resources, and most of all, threaten the livelihoods of those that directly and indirectly depend on this very important industry, and further strain the economy of our small country at large. CEO in the Ministry of Agriculture, Jose Alpuche, also made his contribution. Find it. The ministry is very supportive of collaborative efforts uh, such as this, um, to try and, and find the best set of solutions to, to confront uh, the, the disease here in Belize. I believe we, we absolutely need to accept that in this uh, discussion there is really and truly, because there is no definitive solution, there is really and truly no uh, right or wrong what we need to do, it's an evolving uh, uh, issue, it's an evolving uh, science, but as with all science and knowledge, it, it, it changes. What we consider to be the best possible practice at this point in time may very well be proven uh, uh, not to hold in the not too distant future. As I've outlined earlier, um, there, is no, there is no silver bullet, there is no proven definitive cure, but there are established practices. We need, and the industry needs, to dialogue amongst itself, listen to expert and experiences from elsewhere, from Taiwan, from Mexico, from the rest of the region, uh, so that indeed we can uh, focus on practices that are truly helping. I will just end by, by pledging government's full support, the ministry's full support, in particular through Baja, um, to try to assist uh, all industry stakeholders in charting a proper way forward. One such practice is the germination of citrus seedlings that are certified clean to introduce to existing groves in a continuous replanting exercise. To this end, a day later on Wednesday, June 5, the Citrus Nursery for Clean Plant Production was inaugurated at Red Bank in the Toledo District. The governments of Belize and Mexico, the International Regional Organization for Plant and Animal Health, OIRSA, International Cooperation and Development Fund, ICDF of Taiwan, are joint partners. Executive Director of OIRSA, Ingeniero Guillermo Alvarado Downing said that while his organization did not like to write reports, they loved to see results, and it was the actions of people on the ground and in the field taking the initiative, such as the structures being opened, that got things done. He went even further praising the work of the CGA. Uh, I really, really, really uh, impressed and uh, would like to see that in the future Belize becomes a real power in the production of citrus in the world. I think that from what I've seen here uh, in the future, I can see that you have the willpower, the determination, and the commitment that it requires. Henry Anderson, the chief executive officer of the CGA, underlined the importance of the gifts that made the nursery possible, as well as the purpose of the nursery itself. This is the most significant gift that we have gotten in terms of the first phase, 
which is now ended. And the second phase will start, I think, for another 332,000 US dollars. So although we're talking about these two structures, they are part of two projects. I will say on behalf of, echoing the, the sentiments of our Honorable uh, Minister and Deputy Prime Minister, on behalf of the citrus growers um, of the industry, definitely the board and the team at CG and our, our research arm, CRI, we would like to say thanks, Ambassador, and to um, Mr. Sanchez for the gift that Mexico has given this industry. I will go so far as saying that if Mexico and ERISA had not given this gift in terms of that project, with this, we would have lost the battle with EHLB. So it's a profound gift and we thank you very much. What we're doing here is to signal that we need to expand the production of citrus. And this is not only for EHLB, but it's also for the other diseases that we don't have yet, but that require that you, you take care of the vectors. The Honorable Gaspar Vega, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Natural Resources and Agriculture, spoke about the solidarity of all stakeholders on the issue of replanting clean trees at a time when it is critical to the sustainability of the industry. Speaking about the nursery, Minister Vega said, It is a game changer. And a game changer because it will go a long way in addressing the estimated plant deficit of 1.6 million plants and the usual annual demand of some close to 700,000 plants. After the formal part of the program, the minister repeated his enthusiasm for the project. I, I see a lot of similarity here today as to what occurred with the, with the, with the sugar industry some three, four years ago when everybody, everything looked so dim and so uh, discouraging. And today we know that the sugar industry is having one of the best success in the history. Today I, I see the, the citrus industry taking similar transition. The, the, um, this, this structure that you see here, some three million dollars investment being put in here for, for, to approach the HBA, HLB um, sickness is something that I think is going to make the confidence in the industry grow like never before. And in any industry, in any family, in, in any structure, it's the confidence that causes the growth, that causes productivity, that causes success. I am truly, truly enthused and I believe that what the people in Stan Creek will be seeing from this investment, from this commitment, will only encourage even more farmers to join the association. I must take this opportunity to congratulate CGA. I think the initiative they have taken is tremendous and it shows boldness in, on their part to say we will do whatever it takes to ensure that our industry not only becomes viable but becomes the most productive it has ever been. For Belmopan Weekly, I'm DK Rostock.